So today I want to talk about the idea of peak digital. So since the early 2000s, let's all settle on like 2004, um, our industry has been in this sort of battle of advertising lives as to is digital photography better than film photography? Is film photography better than digital photography? And it's been a stupid, silly conversation back and forth for a real long time. Um, and I think that now, though, in 2024, I'm looking at a lot of the new technology that's rolling out. Uh, technology for uh, video, for technology for still imagery, and the fact that 100 megapixel cameras are becoming the norm now on very high-end systems. I'm thinking we're hitting peak digital. The megapixel race that we've all been on for two decades now, especially those of us that have been working uh, long enough to remember that really awkward transition back in the early 2000s, can I think recognize that there really is no reason for a megapixel camera higher than 100 megapixels. And the reason for that is we all know that AI is chomping at the door right now to get in. And AI is going to solve the needs, if there are any needs, of higher megapixels. Additionally, there's no real pressure. There has not been pressure for a very long time on the printing industry to create printers of a big enough scale and a big enough resolution to need more than 100 megapixels. So by saying peak digital, I'm saying that Thank God that megapixel race is going to be over and there are other things that are going to become important. And one of the big things that I think is going to be important that I'll be talking about here for the next year in interviews of other artists that I know is what happens next. Um, in the past, analog photographers, you know, total darkroom photographers, total you know, analog process, and hybrid photographers, people that do film and digital, have kind of been in one camp. And then you had your digital photographers in another camp. Now, a lot of photographers bounced back and forth. That's fine. But with AI coming on board and the ability for people to have uh, the ability to just literally type out the idea of an image and have an image created, I see another radical change, much like what happened in the early 2000s. What I think is going to happen is, and I see it already happening now, uh, your analog hybrid digital photographers are sort of coalescing. And then you've got this other group of people using this new technology. And this new technology frightens some people. I mean, there are a lot of camera companies now that are creating little bits of software that will encode in your images to say that this was not AI generated. You know, Photoshop has the ability of having that be part of, or it's going to have that ability for that to be part of your file when you work on it. And I think these are all reactions to people being scared about where this new technology is going to go. So I see once again, like we had in the early 2000s, you're going to have a fracturing of our medium to where analog hybrid digital photographers are going to come together and you're going to have the AI people over here. But unlike what just occurred for the last 20 years, I don't see this lasting because the reality is we're all using AI in, or starting to in our programs and in our cameras, in our technology, sometimes without even knowing it. It's being run in the background for our benefit. Um, so I do think that our industry is on the precipice of a change that is every bit as radical and that is going to happen way faster than what happened in 2003, 4, and 5. This is a really important topic that we start to talk about now because it's going to be in our face and affecting how you and I work as photographers, how we work with graphic designers, how we work with publishers. All of this is about the change and change in such a profound way that I want to start that dialogue now so we're in control or at least having a seat at the table as to what we want our medium, our practice to look like in the future. Thank you very much for listening. I can't wait to hear your thoughts. Now go shoot some film.